Mm -hmm. You know, I just wanted to make sure that these, um, article number six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All debts contracted and engagements entered into before the adoption of this constitution shall be as valid. Mm -hmm. Against the United States under this constitution as under the confederation. Yeah. Now, this Constitution and the laws of the United States, uh, which shall be made in persuasion thereof, mm -hmm. and all treaties made, mm -hmm. or which shall be made, <laughs> under the authority of the United States, shall be the supreme law of the land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the judges in every state shall be bound thereby. Mm -hmm. Anything in the Constitution or laws of any state to the contrary, notwithstanding. Yes. Now, this supreme law of the land where mm -hmm. I've informed you that my rights are being violated. Yes. And you said, well, we don't have to enforce your rights. Yes. It looks like no one's really recognizing the supremacy of the Constitution of the United States. Now, for you, the sheriff. Yeah. The police chief. Mm -hmm. The judge. Yeah. Um, this Constitution does have to be supported and defended. Yes. And uh, for you to arraign me for any false accusation of violating the restraint provisions of that fraudulent protection order, yes, you're getting sued. Mm -hmm. And then the individuals that are the employees of the United States known as the attorneys, yeah, why don't you get me them? <laughs> See, there's the attorney oath, right. And then there's the oath of admission, yeah. And then there's the federal contractual obligation to have to, yes. Enforce the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> I'm going to need the attorneys in all of the uh, federal government departments. Yeah. Inclusive of Homeland Security. Oh. <laughs> and then for each and every one of the state governments that employs any attorneys. Oops, Attorney General Bob Ferguson. Yeah. I'm going to want to know all the attorneys that have been employed in every state. Mm -hmm. Territory. Oh and possession, oh, as well as the federal government. Mm. They have some additional liability for knowing that the supreme law of the land is not being enforced. Yes, where I'm going to want their assets, pooch, and I'm going to want to put them in prison. Ouch! Now, uh, this bench trial is a trial without a jury in which a judge decides the facts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a jury trial, the jury decides the facts. Defendants will occasionally waive the right to a jury trial and choose to have a bench trial. Mm -hmm. We had a non-jury trial in 2013, Judge Roar. Yes. Well, I didn't get any notice of it. Oh, oh, oh. Where my wife walked in and said, my husband's crazy. I want you to give me custody of his sons. Yes. I want these child support payments. Right. And I want this parenting plan. Yes. And we don't have to try and find him right now. Now, I might have wanted a jury trial. Mm. Mm -hmm. And when you deprive the individual known as the respondent of the right to have a jury trial, yes, I might have wanted the jury to hear yes, the evidence ouch, that when arrested on Guam, I did seven hours of parenting classes. Yes, I went through diversion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My court record and my arrest record was expunged. Yes. And there's no possible way why it is yes, that I don't have custody of my sons right now. <clears throat> Now, as much as I understand about family law, boom, when you have $180,000 worth of unsecured debt, mm, you're looking at uh, approximately 20 years of child support payments. Yeah. You happen to be indigent yes, and homeless, mm -hmm. living at 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, mm -hmm. and then staying at my grandmother's house in 2012. It's obvious to me that this county, the state has deprived me 